joined now by Georgetown head coach Jason Dean, who got it all started out in Santa Ana, out in uh, far west Texas, out there by Brownwood playing high school football. You bet. You know, 1A football. Uh, mom and dad still live on a farm there, grew up on a farm. Um, you know, small town, um, small town west Texas football. You can't beat it. Uh, and that would eventually lead to you playing uh, at the next level or, or just getting into coaching? No, um, went to went to um, Abilene, uh, the big city um, from Santa Ana, about an hour away, and uh, went to McMurray University Division III school um, there and uh, and played offensive line um, for four years. My head coach was Joe George. Mm -hmm. uh, my first my first three years, Joe is now the offensive line coach, um, has been for, man, 20 years um, at Mary Harden Baylor. Yeah. Um, coach George played at Baylor. Um, played offensive line there, and then my senior year, Steve Keenum um, came in um, the mix, and, and then Steve um, was the head coach there my senior year. Tell me about uh, eventually getting on at, at coaching at Abilene. Was that the first high school job? It was. I um, went to work for Coach Warren at one of his middle schools, so started coaching um, seventh grade football. You know, my first job out of college, and, and absolutely loved it. And then uh, the very next year, got moved up to the high school staff, spent a year coaching um, freshman football there. Um, and then from then on, I was um, the offensive line coach um, there at Abilene High. I spent a lot of great years, um, about seven years working for, uh, for Steve Warren and Abilene. Um, got to know a lot of great coaches um, that came through there. Phil Blue um, ended up coming on in 2001 and being our um, offensive coordinator there. Um, and then when Phil left um, in 2005 and came to Georgetown um, to be the head coach, I came with him as his offensive coordinator. <laughs> Um, and so that's how I ended up here. But, uh, you know, I, I think I've been very, very fortunate to work some really, really good men, some good um, some good football guys that, that know X's and O's, no question. But probably more than that, just good people, you know. And it seems like a lot of great coaches have come out of West Texas. Just the, you can, like, name drop or you can just, you know, Gordon Wood out there in Brownwood and on and on and on. Sure. You know, I, I think when coaches um, start working in West Texas, um, man, you're coaching a different breed of kid out mm -hmm. there. You're coaching kids that, that absolutely love football. They don't have anything else to do. It's either go work in the oil field or play football, <laughs> you know, and, um, and and those kids know how to work hard. And, um, you know, when you get on a bus trip to go to a, to, to a district game and you're fishing a drive three and a half hours, um, you, you got to be pretty fired up about it, you know. <laughs> and uh, it, it was just it was a lot of fun um, coaching those kids. How about here at Georgetown? You've built a pretty good powerhouse down here. Uh, but you're in a very tough district, and you're coming off a season where you guys – uh, we're on the outside looking in, uh, we finishing four and three in district, and there was a four-way tie for first at five and two. And, and a lot of people think you guys were a top ten team in the state. Yeah, you know, it wasn't a lot of fun. You know, last year we all kind of padded around for a couple of weeks, um, seeing everybody else. You know, we lost to Cedar Park by three. Um, they ended up playing in the state finals. Um, lost to Vandegrift by one, who plays in the state semifinals. So, uh, you know, we really knew that we had a good team, um, just didn't win enough games. And, uh, you know, um, lesson learned, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure there's anybody on the coaching staff that didn't already know that, but um, for, for those seniors, it was a tough lesson um, for those guys to learn. Tell me about your offense. You guys kind of like to throw it around, spread it out. It's more like a Baylor Bear style. It is, I, maybe. You know, I, some people would, would look at us and see Baylor. Some Other people would look at us and see Auburn. Um, we're up tempo. We like snapping the ball as quick as we can. We like throwing it around a bunch. We're going to throw it side to side just as much as we throw it down the field and, uh, you know, let our guys get out there in space and, you know, make something happen with it. It's been a fun thing for us. Is it part of that maybe the Gus Malzahn tree, so to speak? Uh, you know, maybe, um, <laughs> you know, the offensive coordinator that was here um, that, that put that in is now the offensive coordinator at Lake Travis um, who, who worked um, with Coach Morris there at Lake Travis before he came here and now has went back to Lake Travis to be there. Um, you know, Mike Wall, um, Mike has done an outstanding job um, there at LT, but but Mike was the coach here that, that led us, um, helped us get to the state finals. You know, Mike's the one that put that offense in here. And, uh, you know, it's just been a lot of fun to coach in. Speaking of, I remember that state championship game against Denton Geyer, right? Uh, Gerard Hurd. Sure. <laughs> but, I mean, a lot of people were surprised to see you guys in there, but you weren't surprised. No, you know, we had a special senior group that year. We had 52 seniors, um, you know, in that group, and, and those kids were hungry um, to do something special. Man, they, they worked their tails off, and, um, you know, there was really um, – I'm not going to say at the start of the year I knew we were a state finals team, but I knew we had a great football team. Um, and just uh, we were very fortunate that year to stay injury free. We didn't get one single kid hurt, you know, for the entire year and uh, ended up, you know, getting to play a while. Final thoughts. This year's team, you guys, could you possibly be looking at maybe a state championship run or is it you know, is it one game at a time, as the motto says? It is. You know, we're, we're, we're telling everything one and oh, but I mean, it's not it's not outside of our, our thought process. And, and, and we've talked to the kids about, you know, guys, if you want to win a state championship, you got to talk about winning a state championship. You know, I think there, there are a handful of teams around that can actually talk about that and be serious about it. And I think we're in that handful. I really do. Um, we've got a good group. We've got good athletes. Um, um, I think our coaching staff um, coaches really well together. 
Um, and I think anybody to tell you is our team, our team chemistry um, is really good. You know, our kids, our kids enjoy being around each other. Sure. Jason Dean, Lone Star Gridiron action. Make sure you check out LoneStarGridiron.com for more with coaches all over the state of Texas. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate you bet, it. Yeah, thank you. Okay.